Uh, here we are. The first topic is uh, uh, what happens uh, once someone is exposed uh, to the infected blood or the gender secretions of an uh, HIV infected person. Now the risk of uh, HIV transmission occurring after any potential exposure uh, to bodily fluids uh, is it's poorly defined you know. and the highest uh, risk sex collectivity is uh, thought to be the receptive uh, anal intercourse uh, without a condom and in this case the risk of infection may be as high as three to five percent for each exposure and the risk is uh, probably less for the receptive vaginal intercourse uh, without a condom and uh, uh, even less for the oral sex without uh, latex barrier you know uh, despite the fact that uh, no single sexual exposure carries a risk, uh, a high risk of uh, 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 contagion, you know, uh, HIV infection can occur after even one sexual event. So the people must always be uh, uh, diligent, you know, uh, in protecting themselves from the potential infections. Now, during all stages of the infection, uh, uh, literally billions of the HIV particles are produced every day and uh, circulating in the blood you know. and this production of the virus is associated with then decline uh, in the number of uh, CD4 uh, cells in the blood uh, over the uh, years you know so the precise mechanism by which the HIV infection results in the CD4 cell decline is not known yet and uh, uh, probably it results from the direct effect of the virus on the cells as well as the body's attempt to clear these infected cells from the system you know now in addition to the virus in the blood uh, there is also a virus uh, throughout the body especially uh, in the lymph nodes you know brain and the genital secretions uh, now that two blood tests are uh, routinely used to monitor HIV infected people. Uh, one of these tests, uh, which counts the number of CD4 cells, uh, assesses the status of the immune system, you know. And the other test, which determines uh, the so called uh, viral load, you know, uh, which directly measures the amount of the virus in the blood. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, in the next video, uh, we'll discuss the uh, treatment options once uh, someone is diagnosed with the HIV infection or the AIDS. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos. Thank you. Goodbye. Keep watching.